Everything you need Is right in front of you, front of you When you learn to see Good things come to you Your come a slice and like much like then you put the real out And it'll be like that This part is left here you go the separate container I find it kind of funny I find it kind of sad and before deciding exactly what everyone would do in the meal we passed out register in class this was good because this meant when we were deciding who'd go into which group whether it be uh, cooking or upcycling thing. We knew what people had an interest in, had experience in. I chose the kale salad because kale salad, well the kale introduces you to the winter and it introduces the in the as well. Um, I got my idea to squash brownies by Miss Miller. <laughs> 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 Try and source as much as air and greens within a two mile radius. I mean, that's what's going to sustain con uh, communities into the future. For us to progress as a human race, we need to go backwards before we can go forward. Go back to some of the stuff that our great grandparents were doing. The recipe booklets that you have on your table were designed and created by the three boys. That's what schools should be about. And I think to see people coming together in a meal situation and the resilience that we heard spoken about. I think over the last week with mental health, um, we've, the word resilience has become very important in our lives. And, and to build coping skills, to sit around tables, to share stories, to talk about the successes of your children, the students themselves, the teachers in the school. I would just like to thank everybody and enjoy your evening. I realise that there's so many vegetables available locally that I didn't realise. Um, and just the, the skills of the of the kids in transition year, what they can do and what they can put together in such a short space of time was absolutely fantastic. And tonight the, I was really impressed by the activity that the kids have put together uh, and I suppose that's part of it is to build their own competencies and to be able to do something in their community. Yeah, and it's been really exciting actually to work with the young people and watch the difference of them in the classroom, in place-based learning, out at the farm. What do you feel you've learnt in your eight weeks in the Schools for Resilience or your Sustainable Education module? How do you feel the learning was different? I, I grow like vegetables and raise different animals at home. It's, I could bring my expertise and my experiences. I thought it was very engaging and very hands-on. We played a lot of interactive games like the Web of Resilience. I was part of the chefing team and as a result of this it gave me the confidence that in the long run that I'll be able to prepare a meal for a large group of people. Yeah, take a look around On the inside and the out Cause when you observe yourself You see everything else Make good use of it now